a billion different ways if you like keep on doing it you know really weird or whatever uh but kind of looks the same you know in a kind of what the fuck am i saying <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sister here. Bring you guys out of Photoshop tutorial how to make a 2D abstract banner. Uh, so this is really simple to do and it's really nice and clean. It looks really nice and professional for any like banner designs or website designs or uh, whatever. So it's not going to be really focusing on how to do this like text. It's just basically focusing more on the backing itself. Um, so yeah, anyways, you guys really, really enjoy these 2D like 2D banner designs. You guys push me to do them. Uh, so I thought I should throw something more abstract at you. So it's really just focused on gradients, like, you know, different cutouts with these shapes like in the banner itself. And then like a drop shadow to add this like a little depth of field. So it looks really, really clean, like I said. Uh, if I just show you with different colors as well, it looks really, really nice and like just beautiful, dude. Like I really, I really freaking like it. And uh, just scroll through a little bit, see what it looks like with different colors. Like I said, it looks really nice and clean. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, what makes this like really original and like, you know, it always can like look different is because you can use different custom like shapes. You can use a custom logo. You can use, in this case, we're going to be using the uh, rectangle marquee tool. You can see we use that in this example right here as well. You can see these little rectangles as the pattern. And then always cutting it out can always be different. So you know, all around is always a really nice clean and continuous like different style. So anyways, we're going to be showing you how to do this. Really, really simple stuff. All right, so let's get going. But it's simple but tedious, so it's kind of like a little bit long on the, like the long side. So anyways, we're going to make a new layer. Uh, when you select your color right here, you just basically select your color or whatever, whatever color you want to choose. I'm going to have this orange. And then, like I said, if you want to use a custom shape, if you could, but I'm going to be using the rectangle. So I'm going to make a nice long rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and make on my new layer, right click, uh, fill, drop down, use color. And then whatever color you had selected, you would basically choose it and then just like kind of like make it a little bit more darker. So that means just basically drag this little white circle a little bit more farther down. And uh, by the way, when you choose like your background color, just choose somewhere like around here, like in this little area, and then start choosing your color like right here. Uh, just all around just helps you out a little bit with these little color schemes. And so anyways, like I said, deselect, or you can just press uh, a right click deselect or control D for the shortcut to deselect. And uh, then you have your little rectangle here, nice and little dark shade or whatever to it. And uh, what you wanna do now is just lower the opacity from 100 to 70, which will in like, you know, help out when, like, let me just show you really quickly. You can see, and uh, this right here, you see how like these opacities are lower. So when they like interact with each other or like intercept or whatever, it gets darker obviously because the uh, the opacity is like lowered. So when you put obviously uh, you know two opacities that are lowered together, it makes it more like you know visible. So it kind of gives a little bit of a cool little feel to it. So uh, we can just do that now. Anyways, Control T to free transform, and we're just gonna rotate it. And we're literally gonna just press Alt and then move the mouse to duplicate again, or you can press Control uh, Control J. On the layer or you can just right click duplicate but I'm pretty sure alt and then dragging is way quicker and like I said we're just gonna be like being really abstract with it, it really doesn't have any, any like you know what to do it's just basically making it you know rotating at different angles and then just continuously like doing it until you like kind of like fill the banner and leave these little spaces in between so that's what I'm gonna do really simple stuff and don't forget 200 likes on this video equals the secret giveaway in uh, the description below for any like graphic designers if you guys really like getting giveaways make sure you hit this 200 likes simple simple stuff I always give away something on my channel uh, or my video every single video uh, that involves like graphics related obviously and uh, so yeah don't forget 200 likes equals little secret giveaway and you'll be able to download it when it hits 200 likes and so yeah we're gonna keep on rotating this like I said it's really really tedious but you don't have to really, like concentrate too much it's just basically you just keep on just freaking filling the banner with different like angles of the shape whatever you're using uh, don't forget also I also released my new um, store or my new order form I guess you can say as well um, for you know my channels so if you ever want to order some graphics or want to see my prices it's gonna be on my channel banner also it's gonna be in the description below as well so yeah, you can always check that out as well and all 3d stuff for my cinema 4d it's still in store but it's just in that little order form it's just all the way at the bottom so if you want to check that as well you can anyways almost done with this like I said there's really nothing I can teach here because it's just me just literally just trying to fill this banner and just kind of rotate these shapes in different ways um, right there and we can just kind of fill this little space right here like rotate it and we'll do another one over here and we'll just leave it like that uh, so I could have probably made it more like you know side we have like these four straight ones right here so I should probably like kind of like fix that maybe uh, just like do something like that all right, there we go. It doesn't really have to be perfect or whatever. Just like make it, it's abstract, so it doesn't really have to make sense in a way. Um, so anyways, once you do that, 
you can click on the top layer right here and hold shift and click on the bottom layer which will select all of them so we're going to make this into a group we're going to press control g to make this all into a group and then press control j to make a duplicate and then control e to merge uh why am i why did i make a group it's just be, simply because if you ever make a mistake i'm making sure you, i'm helping you guys out so if you ever make a mistake and just go back to it and then just remerge it after you fix your mistake or whatever uh, because obviously you can't step backwards 100 million times it's like what limited at like 10 times I, i'm not sure but anyways once you have like a new uh you know layer here just double click on it your merge layer and then go to gradient overlay change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity to about 15 and then you just press ok and then we're going to click on the the, the the freaking pattern like type of layer thingy and then click on the freaking foreground color or the background color i'm like what the hell i just like totally blanked out click on the background color and your layer that we just did right here press ctrl e we're going to merge those two together and i'm just going to drag this down a little bit so we're going to drag this down below everything i mean and uh, so this is where it becomes like the uh basically taking these little shapes right here cutting these little shapes out and making it more like abstract and really like freaking cool and like pop out a little depth or whatever so anyways what you do is press p on your keyboard for the uh, pen tool and if you don't know what the pen tool at all is it's basically a path creator uh, so if you can see if I click I made a little dot right here if I click again it makes a little line and if you like you know kind of close it together basically if you go all the way around or cut out a shape and if you like basically go back to where you began it closes it and then you can like cut things out so anyways you can just simply uh, we're gonna just basically make a really abstract like straight lines all around the place and then we're just gonna right click on it make selection press OK and that's obviously when you close it all together and stuff if you press M on your keyboard it's just a shortcut for your marquee tool just so you can right click on it and then press via uh, layer via copy because if you're on your pen tool still you will not be able to copy or anything because that's not the right tool for it so if you go to like your marquee tool right click on it layer via copy you'll be able to copy it so you can see that basically just copied on a new layer right here uh, the exact same thing so we're gonna do double click on it duh, drop shadow go to the distance change that to zero and change your size to about 26 or 27 and then change your opacity to about 60 and then change your uh, your blend mode color uh, basically like pick the like darkest shade so wherever you like your you know your um, your logo or your shape inter uh, intersects it's gonna be a more darker shade because the opacity is mixed together and just gonna make it a little bit more darker like so press ok press ok again and then just to save some time you don't have to do this over and over again just right click on the new layer and then press uh, copy layer style so when you do this again what you're gonna need to so it's gonna just make another completely abstract and random like pen tool basically zigzags or whatever or you can also curve the pen tool if you just hold and click and drag like so you can do that as well just in case you didn't know right click on it make selection press ok m on the keyboard right click uh layer via copy right click on this layer now paste layer style and then you can keep on doing this like so just like so right click make selection M on the keyboard, layer via copy, and paste layer style. And I would probably do it like two or three more times, I'm not really sure. Like so. Connect it. Make selection, M, and layer via copy, and paste. So it's like tedious, like I said. And I'm gonna actually do one more. So when I do this one last one right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this above every single other one. And then just so I can just have like more cuts. So it's, obviously if I have these little big cuts, all these little smaller cuts won't be able to be shown. Uh, which looks fine or whatever like right now. But if I put this one on top, let me show you when I layer via copy and paste. You can't really like see what I did. But you can see in the background like the layers. I want to put this one on top though. So you can always just mess around with that. And there we go. So obviously you would probably cut it out a little bit more maybe, or watch how you cut your shapes. And uh, so anyways, once you're done with that, you can just basically group all these together. So you remember how to do that? Shift click on the top one, on the bottom one, all the way to the bottom one. Control G to make uh, the group. Control J to make the duplicate. And then Control E to merge them together. And they can just hide that layer. So you ever mess up or if you want to go back to it, you could. Uh, so I probably would have added more cuts right here, but I'm not just going to save time for the video. So when you do this now, this is basically the final thing you would do. You would double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay, go to blend mode, go to overlay, and then change your overlay to about 30%. And then you would make a new layer now above everything, or not everything, above your uh, background right here. And then you just take your brush, like a nice, you know, like 700 size soft brush with like no hardness, zero hardness. And then hold shift, and then just basically a like nice little, it's basically like a lighting effect thing. So we're going to go to the blend mode now, go to the overlay, and lower the opacity to it. And then basically you're done. So I'm just going to like throw the text in, the example text. 
Uh, it's really, really cool, like I said. Like I said, you can always, uh, if you also want to change the color and you want to go all the way back, you can just simply click on this little half circle thing right here. It says hue and saturation. You can click on that. And then you see where it says hue. You can just scroll through and you can change the color and you're all good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave any comments for next tutorials that I can do on my channel. Uh, don't forget to like the video. And if this video is already at 200 likes, you can go download the little giveaway in, in the description. And uh, don't forget to check out my store. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SysWayHQ. Thank you guys so much for watching. SysWayHQ out. Peace.